حضرت ابن مسعود رضی اللہ عنہ اسٹیٹس در اللہ ضفو ضلع صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم واز پرفارمنگ دا پریئر نیئر دا کعبہ اینڈ ابو جہل اینڈ ہز کمپینینز ور آلسو سٹنگ دیئر اشی کیمل واز سلاٹرڈ اے ڈے بفور ابو جہل سیڈ ہو امنگسٹ یو ول گو اینڈ فیچ دا ٹرائپ آف دا شی کیمل سلاٹرڈ ان سچ اینڈ سچ لوکیلٹی اینڈ پٹ اٹ آن دا شولڈرز آف محمد صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم وین ہی ول پرفارم پروسٹریشن The most raged of the people, Uqaba bin Abi Mu'id, got up and fetched it. When the Prophet ﷺ performed the prostration, he put it between his shoulders. They then were convulsed with laughter and started falling on one another. I was helplessly watching it standing there. Would that I had had enough strength to lift that tribe from his back and throw it away. The Prophet ﷺ remained in prostration and did not raise his head until a man went and informed Hazrat Fatima radiyallahu anha of it. Hazrat Fatima radiyallahu anha came and she was then a girl of tender age. She removed the tribe from his back and threw it away. She then turned towards them and started cursing them. When the Prophet ﷺ had completed the prayer, He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam made invocation against them aloud. Whenever he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would make an invocation, he sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam would make it thrice. He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam then said thrice, O Allah jalla jalaluhu, seize the Quraysh. When the Quraysh heard his voice, their laughter melted away, and they got scared at his invocation. He sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam then invoked, O Allah jalla jalaluhu, سیز ابو جہل بن حشام اتبا بن ربیا شیبا بن ربیا ولید بن اقبا امیہ بن خلف اینڈ اقبا بن ابی معید دا رپورٹر سیز دیٹ دا پروفٹ صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم آلسو اٹرڈ دا نیم آف دا سیونتھ پرسن بٹ آئی ہیو فار گوٹن اٹ بائی ہیم ہو سینٹ حضرت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ و آلہ وسلم وتھ ٹروتھ آن دا ڈے آف بدر آئی سا آل دوز پیپل ہوز نیمز Allah's Apostle sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam called lying dead face forward in the well of Badr. Abu Ishaq said the reporter has made a mistake regarding the name of Walid bin Uqaba. It was Walid bin Utaba. Sahih Muslim, Hadith Samar 46 and 25.